If you're going to be taking the Alex Math placement exam, you'll definitely need to know how to solve a problem like this to get a great score. So to do that, you'll need a really good understanding of power and exponent rules and how to solve basic linear equations. So let's take a look at how to work through this problem and answer the question. All right, so here is our problem. We have 1 over 12 to the 2x power is equal to 12. Now to solve this equation, we basically need to understand two things. And the first thing is a particular rule of powers and exponents. I'll get to that in just one second. Then also you need to understand how to solve basic linear equations. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Now, what you want to kind of think about is this situation right here. So this is not our problem, but if it was our problem, how could we solve this equation? Here we have 12 to the x power is equal to 12 to the third power. Well, hopefully you understand that if the left-hand side must be equal to the right-hand side, and that's what it means when we have an equation, the only way this is possible if we have two powers with the exact same bases, well, the exponents must be the same. So in other words, x must be 3. So in this simple equation, x would be equal to 3. Well, this is our actual problem. We have 1 over 12 to the 2x is equal to 12 or 12 to the first. But right now, the way this uh, problem is written, we have this power down in the denominator of this fraction. Okay, it's not like this, but we can fix this problem up such that we can kind of can use this same concept. And in order to do that, we need to understand a particular uh, rule of powers and exponents. So let's take a look at that. And this is the rule. Now there's various rules that you need to understand, but this particular one is the rule for negative exponents. So here we have a to the negative n is equal to one over a to the n. So let's take a look at a few examples on how to use this rule. So here is our rule right here. And let's take a look at this simple example. So if I had x to the negative 2 power, I can just simply follow the rule. So if I have a power to the negative exponent, I can rewrite it as 1 over that power with that exponent as a positive value. Right? So I'm going to go from negative to positive. So here we're just going to follow the pattern. So we have x to the negative 2. Well, that's equal to 1 over x squared. Okay, so as long as you understand this, this is going to really help us solve this equation. But uh, let's take a look at more examples because a lot of people get confused with negative exponents. Okay, so once again, here is our rule. So, you know, you can have, uh, you can have numbers as uh, powers as well. Okay, so it's not just variables that this rule works with. So here we have 3 to the negative 2 power. So just following the rule, we can rewrite this as 1 over 3 squared. Now, if we had this right here, 1 over 3 squared, we can rewrite it this way as well. So 3 to the negative 2 power. And I'm going to show you exactly uh, kind of an easy way to remember this rule. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at another example. Okay, so once again, here is our rule for negative exponents. Now, what if we had this? 1 over x to the negative 2 power. Now, I kind of gave you a little bit of a hint with the previous example, but how can we simplify this using this rule? Well, what we need to do is apply the rule of negative exponents to the denominator. Okay, so we have 1 over x to the negative 2. So we can apply this rule to this part of this problem. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So that's going to look like this. So 1 over x to the negative 2 is equal to 1 over 1 over x squared. Okay, so now let's go ahead and simplify this. So again, 1 over x to the negative 2 power is equal to 1 over 1 over x squared. So we have a complex fraction here, and this means 1 divided by 1 over x squared. So I can write it this way, 1 divided by 1 over x squared. And of course, when you are dividing fractions, what we need to do is change, them in, change this uh, situation into multiplication by flipping the fraction to the right of the division operator. Okay, so 1 over x squared, when we flip it upside down or find the reciprocal, we're going to get x squared or x squared over 1. 
So here we have 1 times x squared or x squared. If you're going to be taking the Alex Math placement exam, you don't want to take a chance of getting into the wrong class in college because of weak math skills. What you want to do is strengthen those math skills. So instead of guessing on math questions, you are answering them confidently. So make sure to check out my full Alex Math test prep course. It is extremely comprehensive with full step-by-step -step lessons and thousands of practice problems. So if you want to check it out, just follow the link in the description. Okay, so all of this right here turned out to be equal to x squared. Now let's talk about a real easy way to remember this uh, property. Okay, so here again is our problem. We have 1 over x to the negative 2 power, and it's equal to x squared. So a real easy way to remember this uh, property is the following. Now, if I want to change the sign of the exponent, so here I have a negative exponent. If I want to make it positive, all I need to do is place this power or move this power to the opposite side of the fraction bar. So right now, this power is down in the denominator. Okay, so if I wanted to make this positive, all I have to do is pick it up and move it into the numerator. And what we're going to have is this power with the opposite sign. So it's going to go from negative to positive. So it's going to be x squared over 1. So if I want to turn this into a negative exponent, all I have to do is move this down into the denominator. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice this uh, rule this way. Okay, or let's practice with this uh, problem. Now again, we still have our property a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the n. But uh, an easier way, again, is to remember that if we want to change the sign of a uh, power and exponent, all we have to do is move it to the opposite side of the fraction bar. So let's kind of mess around with this for a second. And let's move this down into the denominator, and we'll move this up into the numerator. Okay, so let's just think about what the result of doing that. So here I have x to the negative 3. If I move it down into the denominator, I'm going to get x to a positive 3. And if I move this up into the numerator, y to the fourth power, I'm going to get y to the negative fourth power. Now, I can write this problem in, or, in all sorts of different ways. I can leave this y to the fourth down here, and I can have this being multiplied by this y, uh, x to the third power over uh, 1, or 1 over x cubed times y to the fourth. So when you're dealing with powers and exponents, it's really up to you on how you want to, uh, how you want to write that expression. So as long as you understand this rule, this is really going to be the key uh, to solve this equation. Okay, so we're back to our problem now. And again, we have this right here as our actual problem. We have 1 over 12 to the 2x is equal to 12 or 12 to the first. But again, we want to kind of think of it or try to uh, rewrite this problem such that it's like this, right? So here we have 12 to the x is equal to 12 to the third power. This is an easy equation to solve because if the bases of these powers are the same and we're equating these two powers, well, the exponents must be equal to one another. Well, what we can do now is use our power and exponent rules to rewrite uh, 12 to the 2x such that it's no longer in the denominator but up in the numerator. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that, and you're going to see why this is so awesome. Okay, so if I want to pick this thing up right here, this power, and move it up into the numerator, I can do that, but in order to do that, I need to change the sign of the exponent. So instead of a 2x, it's going to go to a negative 2x. Okay, so this is just an application of the rule that I just covered. Okay, so you can see why this is such a good move here, because 12 to the negative 2x is equal to 12 or 12 to the first power. Okay, so if this power or if this value is equal to this value and the bases of these powers are the same, well, then what must be true? Well, the exponents must be equal to one another. So negative 2x must be equal to a positive 1. Okay, so to solve for x here, all we have to do is solve this basic linear equation. All right, so this is not going to be that difficult. So negative 2x is equal to 1. So to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. So x is equal to negative 1 half. All right, so I hope this video helped you out if you are preparing for the Alex Math placement exam. And again, if you want more step-by-step -step practice like this, 
make sure to check out my full Alex Math test prep course. You can get started right away by following the link in the description.